today I'm going to share with you my orange scented creme brulee. Yes, orange scented creme brulee. This orange scented creme brulee is the most delicious thing in the world because I made it when I was 15 years old and I have saved the recipe ever since. Ooh. Ever since I have saved that recipe and I'm here to share it with all of you. And I'm here to share it with all of you. For my orange scented creme brulee, we're gonna need some egg yolks, heavy cream, some sugar, vanilla extract, orange liqueur, and some blackberries for garnishing. Now, what's special about this creme brulee, it's not too eggy, it's not too creamy, it's not too sweet, it's just perfect. And then on top of that, you put some nice sugar on top, you torch it, and it adds that crunch flavor, that crunch flavor I keep telling you about. So, we're gonna start with my creme brulee with a saucepan. We're gonna add one pint of heavy whipping cream. Now what we want to do with that is that we want to bring it up to a nice heat. So you're going to touch it and if it feels a little warm, it's perfect. We don't want it too hot, we don't want it too cold. We do not want it boiling. What? So while that's getting warm, we're going to get some egg yolks. We're going to throw it in a clear bowl on top of that. And the reason I say clear bowl is because we're going to add the hot liquid in there. So we want to make sure it's not going to break on us or anything like that. So then we're going to add some sugar. We're gonna add some orange liqueur. By the way, don't, don't drink the orange liqueur. You know, I usually say drink the liqueur, but this one's not drinkable like that alone. So if you wanna mix it with some strawberries or something, that's something else, okay. So add the orange liqueur. Then we're gonna add the vanilla extract. Then with our whisk, we're gonna whisk away. Whisk, 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 whisk. La batidora. Oh, 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 okay. So this recipe is so special to me. I actually used it as one of my first recipes for my first magazine cover in Healthy Magazine. And we wanna make sure that we whisk all of this. We don't want any clumps of sugar. We wanna make sure it's all fully whisked. Then we're gonna temper it. What does temper mean? We're gonna add the liquid slowly. What happens? You have eggs, and then if you add something warm, you're gonna have scrambled eggs, and we don't want scrambled eggs, not for this recipe. So, what we wanna do is that we want to add it little by little. Now, you could either add it like this, for the purposes of home, I'm gonna teach you how to do it with a ladle. So what I like to do is that I like to whisk, so I start whisking. This is a perfect time to bring your spouse, your kids, you know, so somebody whisk while you do this. So we're gonna whisk, and we're gonna add the liquid little by little. See, I added a little at a time, so we're gonna temper it. That means we're gonna slowly start cooking our mixture without making those scrambled eggs. So one ladle, keep whisking. Two ladles. This is like a, a multitasking task. Can I multitask? Hey. Can I whisk and throw some cream? That's a nice, nice little test. Ladies out there, try it with your man before you marry him. <laughs> So now once we add half of it, we're ready to add the whole thing because our eggs are not cold anymore. And then we add it a little at a time. And there you go. You end up with this nice mixture. So, what I like to do before continuing, I get a spoon and I try it. Now for those of you who say, you're eating raw eggs? It's not raw eggs. It's actually cooked with the cream. So let's try it. Mm. Okay. So, when we're ready, we're gonna get a nice, shallow baking pan. We're gonna fill it up to each ramekin till the water is touching halfway of each ramekin. So today I'm using six ramekins, and we're gonna get a ladle, and we're gonna ladle it in, like that. There you go. So, consistency is key. Make sure that you fill them all to the same level, and then make sure it reaches that same line. So I like filling them up, then I add the water halfway, I stick it in the oven for 30 minutes, okay? It depends what type of oven you have, so usually it's 30 minutes. What I like to do is that I get a knife and I insert it, if it comes out semi-clean, it's ready. After that, you're gonna stick it in the fridge for a whole day, I leave it overnight. Um, if not, so it's cold, definitely you wanna leave it overnight at least, why? Because you wanna make sure that it, that it gets cold enough till it sets. If not, you're gonna end up with a creme brulee shake. Wow. Now, I would drink this as a shake, but that's not what we're cooking today. So, when we're done, we end up with these beautiful creme brulees. Okay, so, when we have that, we're gonna get a spoon with some white sugar, very important, white sugar, and we're gonna throw about half a spoon per creme brulee. The next step I like to do is I like to shake it. 
little salsa, shake it. And then we're gonna use a torch. Now, this is my torch, okay? I am a professional chef, so I have a professional torch. You might wanna use the small little torch that they sell, okay? So this is very dangerous, be careful with the kids, be careful with your husbands, okay? Be careful with your wives. Hide it afterwards too, okay? Now, some people get super excited burning things. That's not what we're practicing today. Today we're practicing how to do a perfect creme brulee. So, with that being said, it involves some patience, so we're gonna burn it and slowly move it, so. And what we want is to get a nice, beautiful, golden brown color on all sides. Not in the middle, not on the sides, on all sides. Very careful with burning it because it burns very easily. Look at that beautiful color right there. Very important, don't touch it. Don't touch it because you're gonna get burned. Give it a good four minutes, five minutes before you serve it. We're gonna do one more, just to show everyone. Nice, beautiful color all around. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm so excited to try this. Let me tell you, if I wanna impress someone, the first thing I give them is my orange scented creme brulee. Okay, all sides, all sides. And there you go. We have look at this beautiful creme brulee. Mm, I could just eat it. So, how I like to do it is you can put strawberries, oranges. I like to add one simple blackberry. Simplicity is key. Let me tell you, one of the best things in life is when you're simple. Simplicity. You don't have to get too creative. You don't have to add all these. No, no, no. Nice little blackberry. And now my favorite part, we're going to try this orange scented creme brulee. Look at this beauty right here, look at that. I mean, this is so easy to make and it's delicious. I, how could you not love this? It's delicious. So before I eat any creme brulee, I always do the creme brulee test. So I go like this. And if you hear something, that means you did it right. If you don't hear something, that means you did it wrong. So <laughs> do it again. So it's right, and you want to hear that sound. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna try it. Ooh. Mm. Mm. This is delicious. Wow. Mm. Let me tell you, this creme brulee recipe is out of this world. If you want to add some sweetness to your life, start with this. If you're having a bad day, eat one of these. It's gonna change your life. So, I hope you try this at home. Share it, like, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel, wherever it is. Subscribe. I need a creme brulee. So here we go, let's have some sugar to a life. 